Hey, a pleasant good day, everybody. This is going to be a video on the Tulsa Oilers versus Utah Grizzlies series. Please need to subscribe down below. We're up above to keep the channel growing to the goal of 250 or more by the start of June. As we look at this one, the Tulsa Oilers really pushed the Utah Grizzlies as another great one versus four series. The one still does prevail, however, in this ECHL playoffs. It was fantastic to watch this series. They got Daniel Manella. One of the better young goaltenders in the game um, when it comes to uh, the, on the Tulsa Oilers. So it was interesting to watch that. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then obviously when it comes to the U called Gidsleys, they got the Tardiffs of the world, the Pfizers of the world, the Bradleys of the world who are fun to watch. And then in Cage, you also have your own cat, Trent Miner, who obviously is a very fun netminder to be able to watch in cage who also has been very solid this playoffs as far and also Peyton Jones in cage who is a guy that I love watching hasn't been the best in his career yet has had his ups and downs but a guy that I love following because he's out of Penn State and a local area hockey product so I always love following them from my locale area but when we get into this overall series it started off good for the Grizzlies. The Grizzlies were able to jump out and win game one in the Mavericks Center 6-3 to three, as Doust was able to continue his fantastic defensive player of the year season. Uh, Zach Teskos was able to score. I'm sorry, I freaking suck with some names. Trey Bradley was able to score two goals. Tardif was able to score as well. And Fies was able to score as well. This was a game that Tulsa had a push <clears throat> um, particularly in the second period, but then when they weren't able to get it in the second period, that they really didn't have anything in the third, and the closeout by the Grizzlies was really good in this game to be able to get that 6-3 to three win. But then the Oilers bounced back, and Daniel Manella has a very good game in cage. Doust had two goals, so continued his success uh, for the Grizzlies. But Palmerville was able to score. Doremus was able to score. Gilmore, uh, Golod, and um, AP was able to score um, for the Tulsa Oilers. And in this game, it was similar. They had their best period was their second period, but the closeout was also fairly even, as I would say the chances to the Grizzlies in the third was maybe one extra big chance to the Oilers. So I would say in this one, the, the Tulsa Oilers and Daniel Manella uh, just did a good job at closing out, and that's kind of, sometimes that's just what happens, and also when the goaltender of the other team is able to play as good as Manella did in this game, sometimes you're just not going to be able to get it past him, and he's just going to play a, a brick wall closeout style, and that also did happen with their best chances in the third period as well in that game. But then in a low scoring affair, by far the lowest scoring affair of this series in game three, the Utah Grizzlies were able to ink out uh, the battle of the goaltenders as Charlie Edward Doust was able to score twice again, so two goals of two games, continuing his defense player of the year killer season, and Jimmy Soper was able to score for Tulsa. This is one of those games that no matter what goal he loses between Miner and Manella, you kind of feel bad for the net Miner because both of them played stellar. Somebody just has to walk away with the L. But so it looked like the Grizz might have been rolling in the right direction to go up three games to one in this series. But wrong, as in game four, the Tulsa Oilers bounce back and win four to three. Dallas has a great game again, so does Tardiff. Uh, but for, for Joey has a great game. Um, Joe Kareffa has a great game. Maxime Golod has a great game. And Ethan Stewart has a great game for the Tulsa Oilers as they are able to claim the key 4-3 to three victory, as Manella was also good in cage, almost facing 40 shots. So they were able to bounce back and claim that victory. But then the Oilers get smacked um, and lose 5-1 to one in the next game, as they really had no chance in this game. Uh, the Other than the first period, they had a lot of shots on, but the reason I would say they really had no chance is because when it came to... When it came to Miner, he he was just a man on a mission. He was playing like freaking Ron Hextall out there that game. I mean, the, the dude wasn't letting anything get past him, literally. So, yeah, you 
you just weren't going to beat him. Uh, he, he allowed one goal, and you were able to find one way to beat him for the shut and to not get the shutout. But minus that, there was no chance. Manella didn't play a great game in this, so Ruck came in. Um, but and he even allowed a goal on I think it was only one shot, so not the best showing for him. But this was just a down and out game for Tulsa. They had a solid push of offense in the first in that game, but you you, you, you can't. If Miner is that much of a brick wall and you have the offense of the Grizzlies, you're kind of boned at that point if you're Tulsa. So to recap to that point, Utah won game one. The Grizz bounce, or the, the Tulsa Oilers bounced back at 1-5-3 in game two. The Grizzlies won the goaltender battle in game three, 2-1. Two in game four, Tulsa won 4-3. And in game five, they got smacked around and lost 5-1. to one. But then to keep the series going... So they didn't lose, and they lost in the maximum game of Game 7, which is the most fun to watch. They won 4-2. to two. As Doust had a very good game again, Miner was good, Manella had a great bounce-back game, and that's entirely what you want to see still from a young goaltender only playing just over 50 games in the league. If your Oilers fans moving forward, he seems like he's going to be a good net Miner in cage and good in the postseason as well. He had one off game and bounced really back from it. But... Uh, Matsushima had a good game in this. Gareffa and Ethan Stewart um, had a very good game in this. And then Doust and Manic for the Grizzlies. So this was fun to see because the Oilers' offense was really... You could tell they were like, we ain't going out without a bang in this one. I think ju this was just one of the examples of how great they played in Game 6. They seemed to kind of be worn out in Game 7 uh, only after having a one-day break as Doust just was able to continue his reign... Bradley had a good game. Betts, uh, Burzon had a good game as well. As Matsushima continued his great success from the last game into this one. But that was all she wrote uh, for the Tulsa Oilers as I'll be doing their season recap soon. But I thought they had a hell of a season. Way to push the Grizzlies, who are obviously with Miner in cage and with their offensive prowess, a very good team. And the Tulsa Oilers hung right there with them where they're still a bit away from being to that level but they looked and matched it very well in the playoffs, which shows greatness going forward. So definitely going to be an exciting team to follow, who they're able to pick up from the different ranks going into next season because they seem to be trending in a very good direction, the Tulsa Oilers, as the Utah Grizzlies now move in the next round as they try to move closer and closer to their promised land of the Kelly Cup. This has been a recap of the Utah Grizzlies versus Tulsa Oilers series, where the Grizzlies, because of, in some games, also... We have to remember, great play of Trent Miner also were able to advance and because of the offense. Like that 5-1 to one game, great play by Trent Miner to be able to set the tempo. As Kirk McDonald, the Royals coach, says this all the time, people don't always realize how much momentum the team gets off of the goaltenders. Well, when the dude's playing like a freak of nature like that in cage, setting the tempo in the first period, how Miner was, well, then they just go on to rail on five goals and win. But peace out, everybody. Stay safe. This has been a recap of the Grizzlies versus Oilers series. The Grizzlies move on. The Oilers don't, unfortunately, for their fans. Peace out, everybody.